The con, when this does go through your skin, it does increase your DHT, your dihydrotestosterone levels. You have particular enzymes in your skin that will take this testosterone and as it goes through your skin, it's gonna convert, it, convert a higher percentage of it to dihydrotestosterone. All the testosterone you take, some of it's gonna be, concerned, be converted into what's called DHT. If you're concerned about hair loss, or if you're concerned about prostate issues, you probably are gonna be concerned about DHT. So dihydrotestosterone, right, is theorized to be binding to the hair follicles and, and, and snuffing them off, decreasing blood flow, thus increasing hair loss. So if you're really concerned about hair loss, you do not wanna go with a cream. The percentage of hair loss associated with a, a transdermal testosterone is low, but if it's a concern of yours, you're definitely not gonna to wanna to do that. Testosterone is not a magic bullet. It is not going to make everything better. So if anybody's trying to sell you on that, that that's your one and only thing you need, you need to go somewhere else. You gotta think about your comorbidities, other things you have going on, overweight, heart disease, hypertension, diabetes, cancers, all of those are very serious things. And all of those things need to be addressed in your health. We have the science behind it, we have the doctors behind it to be sure you guys get the best therapy possible. You guys have any questions? Please put all your questions down below.